If you're looking to maximize this floor space inside your travel trailer, you're definitely going to want to check these models out that we review. And you're going to want to stay till the end of the video because we're going to pick which one is our favorite. But without any further ado, let's get started on our review of travel trailers with slide outs. This travel trailer is the Forest River E-Pro 19 FBS model. It's got an unloaded vehicle weight of 3,375 pounds, a cargo capacity of 1,104 pounds, which gives us a gross vehicle weight rating of 4,479 pounds, and it measures in at 20 feet, eight inches long. When you first walk into this camper, you walk in at the back end of the camper. And the first thing you'll notice on my left-hand side here is that you have a convection microwave up top, and then you have your refrigerator right below that. Pretty decent size for a refrigerator in a camper this small, and it has a separate freezer, which is also just terrific. As we take a look at the kitchen area, it's got a square, deep, single bowl sink with a gooseneck faucet overhead. Then you have a three burner stove here as well. Below that, you've got lots of storage underneath the stove top, plus an additional drawer down bottom where you could store pots and pans and things like that. You have a little pull out drawer for sponges and things, and then additional drawers for all of your kitchen utensils. Now, up top, you also have even more storage over top of the kitchen area. Here I am right across from the kitchen area and you'll notice that I'm sitting on a really nice comfy couch and there is no dinette in this small camper. Well, that is something that we're seeing more and more often in smaller campers. And so this area becomes a multi-use area. Instead of it being a dinette all the time, it's a couch most of the time that you can use and enjoy for your entertainment purposes. And then when you eat, it's got a separate standalone table behind here that you can pull out set up, eat your meal. You could even use the table outside if you wanted to, and then you put it away when you're done and you enjoy your couch. Now the couch also serves a third purpose, and that is that it can jackknife into a sleeping area and an adult could easily sleep on this size couch. So it's a fantastic way to use one area for three purposes inside your small camper. You'll also notice that it's got a window above and even more storage space above that. Now just past the kitchen area and directly across from the couch area is the entertainment center. You've got a radio control and a couple speakers up top. An okay sized TV here. It's a little small for my liking. I'd like to have a little bit bigger TV, but then down below that you have some additional shallow storage cabinetry. And then finally we have the main bed area in here. Now this is a full size queen bed. And then you'll notice up above, there's a little bit of storage with some cargo netting. There's also ample lighting up here over top of your bed. And then you'll notice that you have three separate windows back here so you can get a nice cross breeze, plenty of natural light in here. And then below your queen size bed, you have this drawer for additional storage. And to make sure you can charge up your cell phones and anything else you wanna charge, you've got a receptacle on each side. Now, here I am inside the bathroom, and while it does have a dry bath, you know, it's a corner-shaped bathroom, and it's actually got pretty good amount of space in here. Now, I'm standing inside the shower. I'm 5'11". I maybe have an inch over my head. And then this has this really unusual, I guess, shower curtain that sort of slides around. Um, I don't know. I think I'd prefer a glass door because I really feel like that shower curtain is going to blow in and stick to you while you're taking a shower. Now, just to my left here, you've got a nice medicine cabinet with a couple of shelves inside. I like this built-in shelf here for your cup and toothbrushes. Down below, you have your vanity. And then there's even a little bit of storage down below that. Finally, when you're sitting on the commode, it passes one half of the elbow test. This small trailer with the slide out is the Winnebago Hike, model number 171DB. It's got an unloaded vehicle weight of 3,598 pounds, a cargo capacity of just 602 pounds for a gross vehicle weight rating of 4,200 pounds, and it measures in at 20 feet, 8 inches long. Now, when you first walk into this travel trailer, you walk right into the dinette area and also the entertainment area here is on my right hand side. Now the dinette itself is a U-shaped dinette. You could easily seat three people here. This also converts into 
a bed for one person, maybe two small kids, and there's even some storage underneath one side of the dinette booth. One nice feature I like is that it's got the windows that go all around all three sides of the dinette, and then it's got this little storage shelf up above, and there's even a receptacle up there too, so you can plug things in and charge them. On the right hand side here is where your entertainment area is, which features a nice TV hookup location. All of your controls are up over top, and then you have a countertop and some additional storage space down below. It's in a great spot where you can watch TV very easily while you're sitting at your dinette. This travel trailer also features what's called an inline kitchen, or what I call them inline kitchens anyway, where everything's right in line with each other, so it's a very efficient setup. Also, the entire kitchen is in a slide out, so you gain a little bit of extra floor space in here when the slide out's in the out position. Starting on the left side here, you've got a big pantry cabinet, which you can remove this shelf and it becomes a coat closet or a wardrobe cabinet. Below that, you have some drawer space. There's my handy dandy notebook in there. And then in the kitchen area, it's got a small single bowl sink with a big gooseneck faucet and a separate sprayer. Then you have a two burner range here. Over top, you've got some storage. And then down below, you have storage under the sink and there's plenty of it. And you also have some drawers for all your kitchen cutlery and ut you utensils, I should say. <laughs> it does come with a Dometic microwave. This is a convection microwave, so that makes it a really good choice for in here since there's no separate oven. And it comes with a small fridge and there's a little area where you can make ice or keep ice cubes, things like that. The bed size in here is just about 74 inches by 60 inches, so it's definitely what we would consider a short queen bed. You'll also notice it's just got one storage shelf above. There is a receptacle up there, and there are USB ports on the back wall, so you can charge things, but it's very, very basic setup. There's not any other cabinetry back here for storage at all. Here I am standing in the shower in the bathroom, and it does have a full dry bath in here, which is great for a small travel trailer. I'm 5'11", and my head is just skimming the ceiling, so if you're six feet or taller, you're going to be squashing down a little bit to take a shower in here. You'll notice that it's got a good size vanity with a corner cabinet over here for some storage. Also, it's got a lot of countertop space. There's a little bit of storage underneath of your sink. And then, of course, you have your commode, which is not, unfortunately, going to pass the elbow test. This small travel trailer with the slide is the Lance model number 1575. It's got an unloaded vehicle weight of 2,775 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 925 pounds for a gross vehicle weight rating of 3,700 pounds. And it measures in at 20 feet 5 inches long. So when you first walk into this camper, it feels really nice in here. You've got your bedroom area off to the right. Kitchen area is on your left and also kind of straight ahead. And then you've got your dinette and bathroom towards the back end of the camper. On my right hand side, though, is a decent sized bed in here. Let's see if it's a full queen or not. 60 inches by 80 inches. So it is a full queen size bed. Um, not much storage around the bed at all, but it does have a TV location here. TV can swing out so you can view it from the dinette or you can watch it while you're in bed. Also around the corner there, you'll notice there are three windows around the bed all together. And also right down next to the head of the bed, there's a little cubby hole with receptacles and H or USB ports. So you can plug in your phone, maybe even squeeze a CPAP in there. I'm not sure. The kitchen area has a really nice look to it. I mean, it has that good modern look to it. It's got very sleek cabinetry, a little bit of that uh, airplane design, if you will, but a very nice setup. It's got a regular microwave oven up top, range hood, three burner stove. Next to that, we have a round and pretty deep uh, sink here, and it's got a nice gooseneck faucet with a separate sprayer. They do include this piece so you can, you know, give yourself a little bit more countertop space. Down below, some decent storage. Lance does a nice job because they actually finish the inside of all of their cabinetry, so it's got all rounded edges. It just looks really nice and modern. And then they have these kind of plastic drawers that slide in and out, so you can, you can totally remove them if you like. It's just very convenient that way. So 
pretty cool job. And then next to that, they even have a full oven in here. So if you want to cook a pizza up, you sure can. And directly across from the front door and the rest of the kitchen, you have a wardrobe cabinet with additional storage down below. And then of course, you have a Norcold refrigerator in here. It's got a small freezer and it's a small fridge, but for a trailer this size, this is about what you'd expect to see. So here I am at the dinette, and this is a very comfortable dinette set. I mean, this is super comfy to sit on. It's very plush. Um, you do have to step up into this dinette. It is in a slide out, which is about three feet. So it gives you extra floor space inside of this small trailer. You'll notice that it's got a nice big dinette window, has a corner cabinet on each side. So you get a little bit of extra storage in there. The table will drop down here and you can create another sleeping space. I would say one adult or two kids could sleep on the dinette pretty easily. You'll also notice under each dinette booth, there's a door that opens, so you have storage under there. And then just below the whole entire slide out, there's another door that drops open and there is some small storage space under there as well. This is the back window of this camper and Lance has some really nice features built into their campers. One of them are these window screens that slide up and down. This is a very nice, easy to slide setup for your screen so you can open the window and the bugs won't get in. Or for privacy, you can lift up your privacy shade and these things actually do connect if you'd like them to. So one goes down, the other goes up, but they're very nice. They work very, very well. So here I am inside the shower and the bathroom in here is very small, but it is a small camper. Over my head, there's about five or six inches and I'm five feet, 11 inches tall. So if you're about six, four or taller, you'd have to squish down a little bit. You'll also notice they have this really different kind of shower bar. It sort of just moves around so you can adjust it to come out into the room as far as you like. And that way when you pull your shower uh, closed, the shower's out into the room so it doesn't stick to you while you're taking a shower. Very nice design. Right next to the shower, there is a small medicine cabinet that's in here and towel bar. And then below that, you have your commode here. It passes one half of the elbow test. There is no vanity in this bathroom and that's okay though. It's a small camper. So you have to squeeze a lot in a little bit of space. So after reviewing all three of these campers uh, a second or third time now, I think it's pretty unanimous which one probably we like. We're and probably that's on the same be, page here. It's going to be the E-Pro e -Pro. for sure. I can <laughs> right. tell by our reactions while we were watching all three of them as we reviewed them. So what did you like most about the E-Pro? I liked the openness of it. Yeah. Yeah. I liked it because it didn't have the dinette. Yeah. Um, because it did have that slide out. Uh, there was just so much open space right there you know, for you to not bump into one another. Yeah, I agree. And I like the multifunctionality of it as well mm -hmm. because you have a nice couch that you can use for living area mm -hmm. and you can sit there and watch TV and be comfortable or, right. and then, you know, you can turn that into your dinette area right. at the same time with the freestanding table. So right. I like that feature a lot. Right. And the TV was in the perfect location. Right, you, for you both could, spots. You could see it, yeah, mm -hmm. from the couch or you mm -hmm. could see it from your bed mm -hmm. very easily. So it was really in a perfect spot. Right. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all in all, a really nice camper. Yeah, well done. Now, if you're looking for a trailer that does not have slides, maybe you want a trailer that's even lighter and smaller than these, that's easier for you to tow, but they're still really spacious inside. Right. Check out our next video where we review three awesome small trailers without slide outs that maximize space as well. All you have to do is click the box down below here. And please remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.